Hey everyone, this is to let you know about a brand new course that we're running together with Peter Lindbergh of the STOA. It's called Becoming a Live Player and brings together a lot of what we've been covering on Rebel Wisdom over the last few years with a combination of ideas and practices. The concept of live player comes from Samo Berger and it means a person who's capable of new behavior in a world where many people and organizations are running off scripts or dead players. Our current moment, no one knows what really what the fuck is going on or what the fuck to do. <laughs> and this is sort of like the, the challenge landscape, the, the, the three aspects of it, the meaning crisis, the culture war, uh, the meta crisis. The meaning crisis is sort of like not having a philosophy, an individual philosophy or collective philosophy of life that kind of can support like an ecology of practices that imbues a sense of meaningfulness in our life. Um, and, and in fact, the culture at large uh, it does the opposite. It, it supports kind of like a sense of meaninglessness. And that's a hard spot to begin from when you're addressing all these things, both personal and collectively. It's easy to get sort of like disheartened and depressed in this state, um, but that need not be the case. We can, we can approach this with existential hope. And I think being a live player and becoming a live player is the answer for it. So we built it around the concept of serious play, which is something that Professor John Viveki, who will be one of the guest teachers, talks about a lot. I talk about the importance of serious play um, and that our culture, our culture doesn't know how to deal with play. We either trivialize it into entertainment or in fun, or we say, no, then it must be work. When people get a strategy for solving a problem, they'll often stick with that strategy, even though a better strategy could be used when newer problems emerge. Uh, they sort of lose, they, they're sort of the opposite of what kids do in playfulness. And we've split the course into three sections based on the model that Daniel Schmachtenberger was talking about recently. And the only answer out of the oppression or chaos is the comprehensive education of everyone in the capacity to understand at least three things. They have to increase their first person, second person, and third person epistemics. Their third person epistemics is the easiest, philosophy of science, formal logic, their ability to actually make sense of base reality through appropriate methodology and find appropriate confidence margin. Second person is my ability to make sense of your perspective. Can I steel man where you're coming from? Can I inhabit your position well? And if I'm not oriented to do that, then I'm not going to find the synthesis of a dialectic. I'm going to be arguing for one side of partiality harming something that will actually harm the thing I care about in the long run. And then first person, can I notice my own biases and my own susceptibilities and my own group identity issues and whatever well enough that those aren't the things that run me? So we've turned this three-part epistemics into the three different types of play that we need to develop with 10 guest teachers. First person play, looking at our biases, shadow work and embodiment. Second person play, how we relate to each other with empathy circles, authentic relating, and third person play, which is objective, reasoning and argumentation with practices like street epistemology and mental models. So Peter and I have been talking about this and planning it for the last few months. And by definition, this will be a live exploration into the unknown that will all go on together. You're designing not only a story that you're telling, but it's a story that you're experiencing. And there's something really beautiful about mm -hmm. that. And I guess our task is to combine this kind of exploration of the cultural landscape, the culture war landscape, the meaning crisis, and the meta crisis, and provide the practices with a whole load of guest facilitators that explore different aspects of that and different skills to become a live player. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's important um, just to be clear that uh, neither you or I are epistemic authorities on like uh, the meaning crisis or, or the culture war 2.0 or uh, the meta crisis. Um, but we are, um, I would say experts at designing experiences. Um, like I've taken your uh, uh, men's retreat in in London, like chef's kiss, those beautiful uh, experience. And, you know, I've been, uh, that's my, my background, that's my career is, is, is designing uh, training and experiences for people. And like what you said, you and I have two skill sets that complement each other nicely. You have that, that journalistic kind of narrative story arc. And I have this like weird meta perspective that I can kind of see the landscape of all these players. And so that's what we're bringing here. 
uh, in this really unique experience of this, this course. You can find out a bit more information on the website. The link is below and we hope to see you soon.